What a beautiful morning in Popsville. Time to check the crops. Uh-oh, the insects are back. Farmer Ricky plans to double his dosage to get rid of these pests once and for all. Oh no! No more insecticide! Well, off to the store we go! Hey! It's good old Joe! Good morning, Joe! I'd like to get four bottles of Compound V, please. I'm double dosing to fight back the insects. Compound V, you said? It doesn't sound familiar. Let me see what you have. Ricky, where did you get this product? It doesn't have proper label information and could be filled with highly hazardous chemicals called persistent organic pollutants. You should really get one that's POPs free, which is safer and approved for pest control. Ricky, it's time we talked about the dangers of misusing highly toxic pesticides. Some pesticides contain highly hazardous ingredients that can harm you and your loved ones if handled incorrectly. So when we improperly store pesticides, it can affect our health in the long and short term. To be safe, make sure to remember these following tips to avoid unnecessary chemical exposure. It's important to always read your label fully before using any treatment on your crops. To avoid dangerous contact with pesticides, including airborne insecticides, make sure to wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Apply the recommended chemical dosage and use far away from human contact and from active winds. To avoid cross-contamination, make sure to follow these simple steps to dispose of pesticide containers. And no matter what you do, don't throw it in any old waste bin. Always make sure to triple rinse, puncture and store separately for proper disposal. And for an even safer approach to pesticide use, consider switching to organic farming and other integrated pest management processes. For more information on how to dispose of hazardous pesticides, contact your local waste management agency or visit StopThePops.com for more details. Sometimes danger lurks where you least expect it. The more you know, the healthier you can grow.